So there's a variety of healthcare professions that help others. Go to the deeper story and share what has confirmed your decision to want to become a physical therapist. Woo! Does this sound familiar to you? <laughs> if you've been trying to apply for the last three years into PT school, then this prompt and the PTCast essay for your personal statement has been right in front of your face. And I'm sure you're thinking, okay, well, why do I want to be a physical therapist? That ultimately is the deepest question. So as I've been working with these students for all these years and trying to answer this prompt, what I'm finding, one of the biggest problems is that students are just not aware what makes physical therapists unique as a healthcare profession compared to the other healthcare professionals. So in this video, as a physical therapist, I'm going to share with you what I find unique in the field and give you some insider information on what, of, what I'm talking about here and, and those related topics. So we're going to get into that topic right now, but before we do, what's up you guys? My name is Dr. Lee for Change, Justin Lee, physical therapist. I'm a PT school admission expert and I help students get accepted into PT school. Students have been coming to me already during this application cycle in 2022 to 23, and we've been writing and being really successful with their PT school essays and supplemental questions. So as you're watching this video and you're trying to decide like, hey, you know what, how do I uh, differentiate myself um, and help stand out with my essay? Okay, you're giving me valuable information about what's unique about a physical therapist, but how does that relate to me and how can I apply that into my essay? I'm an expert at that and I can absolutely help you share your personal story and find the deeper reason why you wanna be a physical therapist, just like I helped so many of other students do that. So if you need help, please make sure you go on my Instagram page, go to my bio, there is a um, application to figure out or to sign up for one-on-one um, -on -one coaching. But okay, we're gonna get into this right now and as I put my hands together, I do that on purpose because Number one, physical therapists are hands on. And that in itself, obviously like, yeah, you know, you're putting your hands on them, you're stretching them, you're giving some massages and manual therapy and whatnot. But check this out, y'all. Physical therapists or any other profession in general don't really put their hands on people. Think about it, okay? Well, first off, like in general, any kind of profession, people don't, put hands on you. <laughs> That's actually a liability and uh, people will literally sue you for putting your hand on them or your finger on them literally just wrong. <laughs> but as physical therapists, we are many or few of the professions that actually put hands on people as our scope of practice or actually what we do as job duties. There's not that many other healthcare professionals that do that or actually are like within their scope, right? I mean, you might have to like ask for permission and get their consent, but it's not really in a doctor's uh, scope of practice, or not scope of practice, but it's not really in their like duties. It's like really go hands on and go in. They're just doing things to kind of exam and kind of feel for some stuff, some palpation, but they're not using that as a form of treatment. Right? Maybe occupational therapists, maybe massage therapists, maybe athletic trainers and personal trainers, maybe. Um, but besides that, there's not really any other healthcare profession that puts their hands on people. And I think there's a lot of value and a lot of depth in things that we don't even understand of just like a hand on your shoulder, right? Just like getting you to a place where I'm coddling your entire leg and lifting it up to stretch your hamstrings that in itself is therapeutic going across the side of your neck and <sighs> stretching it out what other profession does that and what other profession provides a type of <sighs> relief release from tension stress relief okay so hands-on uh, that's gonna be number one that really differentiates physical therapists. Number two, this is kind of a part A and part B. Um, number two is that physical therapists, just the, uh, the profession in general, spends a lot of time with the patient. And there are two main really critical things that come out of this from the literally the amount of time that you spend with somebody. So if you think about all, if you think about a doctor, first off, they come to you, you come to their appointment, uh, you come to the time that you uh, schedule, let's say 10 o'clock, and they don't even see you until 10.30. <laughs> don't, 
I freaking hate that. Like, that's so annoying. Like, if you're a doctor watching this, please, like, see your patients right at the scheduled time. Because <laughs> we're going out of our way to see you at the scheduled time. Why can't you see us? I think that's, that should, I think that's respectable to say that. But anyway, so the amount of time. So physicians, they go in, doctors, physician's assistant, whatever. They'll do their rounds or you see them in an outpatient place, talk to you for maybe like 10, 15 minutes, say what's wrong, blah, blah, blah. And it's literally all like business talk, professional talk, whatever's wrong with you talk, boom, out. And that's it. And then you don't see them for maybe months on end. But physical therapists, on the other hand, man, you're seeing them for at least 15, 30 minutes, one hour, depending on the clinical setting, not only one time a week, but maybe two times or three times a week, depending on what's appropriate for you. Sure, you might see them maybe once every week, once every two weeks or so. I mean, that happens once in a while, but generally there is a consistency and frequency of a, a lot of time that you see physical therapists. So within that large amount of time, part A, what's really important, what builds is the relationship aspect. There is no other healthcare profession that does that. They build a relationship. I get to know you, you get to know me. I get to know about your family, your friends, your hobbies, your goals, your aspirations, your fears. You get to know all of that stuff about me too. You don't spend that much time with even your closest friend. So you can imagine the type of rapport and relationship building that gets uh, built during this time. Part B, the cool thing about spending all this time with the patient is that you get to be a part of the journey, right? So I think this is cool because Personal trainers are really, that's one of the unique aspects of personal trainers is that they're a part of that journey from, all right, you're 50 pounds overweight, we're working together, I'm seeing you a couple times a week to work out and push and strengthen and sweat and tears and push you and yell at you and whatnot. And then months later, you're 50 pounds lighter. And throughout that process, you might have came in as someone who was not confident with their body, somebody who's coming in who's insecure about just how they look and how they, how, what clothes they wear. And 50 pounds lost later, man, that person is totally different, confident, secure, knows their worth, right? Now, physical therapists are no different. Patients are coming in hurt, abandoned, um, messed up or jaded by the healthcare system. They feel isolated, hopeless, thinking this is gonna, is this gonna be what I'm gonna feel for the rest of my life? And as you spend all this time with them, you get to be a part of that molding process, not only physically, right, but also psychologically right? Behaviorally, socially. If you don't know this, uh, physical therapists approach treatment in a uh, biopsychosocial model. I don't know if I had the order correct, um, but go look it up. You're going to be amazed at what that approach is all about. So that's part A and part B of spending all this time together with a physical therapist. Like that's what makes them really unique. Okay, number three, I have four for you. Number three, Physical therapists, what's unique about them is that they can see changes right away during that actual session. Now, doctors or physician's assistant or yeah, and whatnot, like they will prescribe a medicine or say, hey, try to do this, try to do that. And they don't know if what they prescribed or whatnot is actually gonna be helpful, like at that moment. I mean, obviously we have scientific data to suggest things, but I mean, there's always times where they do it and then it's like, okay, you, they prescribe a medicine and then you have a reaction to it and then you don't see the doctor until months later. And it's like, you know what? Actually, I, that medicine didn't work and I just chose to do something else. It's like, oh, okay, right? Like, that, that, that doesn't make sense to me. But physical therapists, I mean, you can literally have a pain in your neck or your shoulder and we can come in and move it around, mobilize it, stretch it, strengthen things around it or re-educate some, some uh, uh, things going on. And literally in that same session, you can be like, whoa, I don't feel that pain anymore. This has happened so many times in my practice where patients will come in and they have these feelings. We move some stuff around and they're like, whoa, like they think I'm a magician or something, but I'm literally, I'm just have an understanding of the human body. 
and just apply some physical forces on there and boom, they're like so much better. And that's really rewarding because <laughs> you get to see what your, what the fruit of your labor literally in that same session. There's not too many other professions that do that. Psychologists, like yeah, <coughs> psychiatrists, there's time that has to develop until you kind of see that long-term success. <coughs> All right, next. This is my last point here. The last point about physical therapists, and I kind of mentioned this before, but I really think this is more of my personal opinion about everything, is that physical therapists, something unique about them is that they literally have to be physically involved to have some optimal results. You cannot replace that with the machine, right? And during the pandemic, there's a lot of healthcare professions that went telehealth, and that's fine. And you know, if you're prescribing medicine, if you're looking at the skin, dermatologists, or if you're doing a Zoom chats through, uh, uh, for your counseling and whatnot, sure, like doctors can prescribe and do different treatment styles for that, but there's nothing like being hands-on and helping somebody. No machine, no algorithm can do that. Only the human touch can do that. And sure, you might be wondering, oh yeah, Justin, well, how about exercise? Like, we can just tell people to exercise and do that. And yeah, some physical therapists who have been doing telehealth have been successful in that way. But, I mean, if you're gonna, ch if I'm gonna choose to do a type of treatment where I'm either exercising or doing hands-on, the one that's gonna have a more, I feel like a more better effect, a lasting effect where people feel like that's more valuable is hands-on. They may do the exact same thing, but if you're the patient, you're gonna perceive hands-on as more valuable than me telling you how to exercise. Come on now, <laughs> I'm getting real over here. So if you're a student right now who's trying to apply to PT school and you're going through this PT cast process and you're like, what's the, what makes physical therapists unique? I hope this video helps answer that question and gives you some insight as far as what physical therapists actually do and how they differentiate themselves from helping others amongst the other healthcare professions. If you need some help in this PTCAST cycle or even in the next one, please fill out my application for one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's on the link in my bio on my Instagram and I know and I am confident that I can absolutely help. I'm helping so many students right now. I'm pretty maxed out, but still, I, I just try to squeeze in students here and there because I know that it's a hard time. I mean, COVID happened. You have that questionnaire of your response to COVID. I mean, you have supplemental questions and you're trying to figure out all these specific questions about the application process in itself, PT cast, letters of rec, observation hours. It's a lot and I've been there, but I can help you. I can clarify a lot of things, answer your questions specifically, and really help you stand out with your essay. So if you need some help with your essay, I'm here for you as your PT school coach. Every day is a great day to lift weights, lift others, and lift yourself up. Lift for change. Have a great one, you guys.